All right, guys, on the previous video, we we're looking at the timers. Let's take a look quickly at how to do uh, online editing of our rungs. So there's a cool feature of Studio 5000 where you can edit your, your rungs while you're online. You can clearly see that I'm online because I have uh, the green on either side for my power rails. If I change the status of my, uh, of my stop button, then you can see that that changes. Beauty. So we are online. So let's do some online editing of our program now. Let's zoom into our program. So let's look at uh, rung number one right here. So maybe I want to change uh, the timer type and maybe I want to change the preset value as well. So in order to change this rung and do some online editing, up in the top here we have uh, this one called Start Pending Rung Edits. Uh, it also has the Quick Keys Control Shift S. Uh, so I can click on this guy or I can hit Control Shift S or I find the easiest way is just to click on the rung that I'm that I want to edit, right? Once it's blue, uh, then you just hit enter. Okay, then you've got uh, two rungs that are now available with identical instructions on them. So the eye right here, the small eyes, these will change the larger eyes once we accept uh, the changes, uh, but the, the small eye right now is the insertion rung. So this is what's gonna be inserted into my program. Uh, the R is the replaced rung. So obviously this is my original rung right here and it's going to be replaced by the insertion rung. Okay, so I wanna change this guy to a different timer. So maybe I just wanna have an on delay timer. Okay, and I wanna change the value to, uh, to 10,000. So I'm gonna change my preset value here to 10,000 rather than the 5,000. Beautiful. Okay, you can see that my previous rung is here, uh, my new rung is here, uh, and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to um, accept the, uh, the pending rung as. If I, if I screwed up and I hit enter by mistake, then I could hit uh, cancel pending rung edits. So let's do that just to show you. So if I do cancel pen, pending rung edits, then it just go, goes back to normal. Okay, so I would go back to here, change this guy to a ton timer, and change this guy to uh, 10,000. Keeping in mind that these guys are in milliseconds, so now I'm gonna have a, a, a 10 second timer being an on delay rather than an RTO. Okay, next thing I'm going to do um, is I'm going to uh, accept the pending rung edits. So that's right here. Excellent, as soon as we do that, it says on the bottom, oh, you can't see that. On the bottom it says zero errors and zero warnings. So I'm gonna get that out of my way. And you'll notice that once we accepted those, uh, then these guys turn to an I and an R, but uppercase now. So now um, those have been accepted. And the next thing I can do here is I can test the, um, the edits. So I can click on this guy. Now keep in mind, um, from what I've read, when you, accept, when you test these, um, these values, then the, um, <clears throat> let's see, the outputs, the test, the test accepted pro, program edits operation will leave the following outputs in their last state. Okay, so uh, keep in mind that until we actually finalize these edits, uh, that your outputs may be, uh, may be stuck in their previous state there. So just keep in mind if you have processes that are uh, running at the moment, that as you're doing these tests, the the outputs that were already set will remain set until you actually accept these changes. So we'll set yes. Okay, and I'm just gonna test out my program here. So uh, this is my stop push button. I'm going to hit the start push button. That's going to turn on the output. This will lock the output on, and then this will be true. It'll turn on my, uh, my timer there. So we'll do that now. So there's my timer timing out, and it's gonna go up to the 10 seconds there. And we can see there that the associated bits are live. So the enable bit is, is live uh, or true. And the TT bit was true. And now we have the preset equal to the accumulated value. So our enable value is still true because this is true. Uh, and the done bit has now set. Excellent. Okay, so it's working out uh, as a... Uh, that's interesting. Let's see. You know what? Let's reset this program and let's see uh, if we can change the value so it's going to there okay i'm going to hit the stop push button now okay so it is working as an on delay timer right so i've tested them out there and as soon as i hit the stop push button uh then the the timer went to uh the timer accumulated value went to zero there 
Excellent. Okay, so it's no longer working as an RTO. I now have the on delay timer in that if I turn on the start and it accumulates there, but if I stop it at any point, then the value goes back to zero. Okay, start hit the start button and we can see that it's just like our standard on delay. Enable and TT bit are true as our accumulated value goes up. And once the accumulated value equals the preset value, then the done bit sets and the enable bit is set uh, as long as this is true. Beautiful, okay, so it's working out as I expected. So last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, I'm going to assemble the accepted pro, uh, program edits. Okay, for the main routine. Yes, excellent. Okay, and now you'll see that those edit rungs are have disappeared. So the insert and the replace rung have disappeared. Uh, and now my, uh, my program now resembles the changes that, that I've made there. Excellent. So easy way to make online edits here. You don't actually have to go offline and then download. You can just clearly just uh, go up here to your start pending rung edits. Or as I said, you can click here, hit enter, and then you can make your changes. All right, guys, we'll leave her there. Uh, next one, I believe, is going to be on uh, the counters, unless I think of something else to uh, throw in in between them. All right, guys, thanks very much. I'll see you in the next video.